I always wondered how the kids on the other side of town lived, and if their streets were as divided as mine, and if they thought like us, and why everyone was always tripping. Maybe it was because we all lived in the projects, and we were surrounded by ghettos, and that caused us to mess with each other's vulnerabilities. At the top of an abandoned building, I was a young boy who was desperately trying to be a man. You can't help but take a person. You're too chicken. You're a scary kid. You're just scared. You're black. I was burning inside. Burning inside with the deep resentment to the world around me. I remember being halfway up the fire escape and realizing that this didn't have anything to do with an inability because of my race, that they were just taunting me, getting me to do something that I wouldn't have done. Now ask yourself this question. If I had a chance to do it all again, no regrets, would I? Absolutely. One thing's for sure, every day we got to try, try to realize that it's up to each of us as an individual to better our own situations, to believe in ourselves, and to conquer our inner fears and inabilities. It's up to us to face ourselves. Face those trials and tribulations that hold us back. Hold us back from the very success we dream about every night. Did I have an epiphany when I got to the top of the building? No. I'm just glad I'm me. To E R A S E, the racism. The ink is black, the page is white. Together we.